this, guys. Good morning, boss. Good morning. How are you I, doing? I'm good. And it's even better when you pull up to client yards that you fertilize, and they are just woo. They look good. This is the first cut on this one. Now, we used to cut both of these, but the, it's his son, right? Yeah. His son cuts that one because he stays there, um, and we cut the other one. But we fertilize both of them. Mm hmm Everything's blooming. The quince in front of us is blooming. <laughs> I've, obviously, you can see the rhododendrons are blooming in this video. Oh, yeah. Right? There's purple behind me. See it? Which is early. Like... Yeah. We have one that's even more of a I told them that. early spring, and like I'm like, we need to plant this now so that they can enjoy it. I want them to enjoy it this season, and... If I don't plan it now, they're not going to get to enjoy it. So, yeah, we're going to mow two yards today, <laughs> and we're going to plant a rhododendron. Mm -hmm. And we might go do mulch this afternoon, too. Mm -hmm. We're depending. We'll see what happens. Probably, but we'll, we have tomorrow, too. Yeah. Um, And we'll show you where we're planting the rhododendron. That's our next uh, project we're doing, kind of. like the pay We're actually doing a walkway, um, flagstone walkway. Yeah, it's not, not one that is going to have um, a base or anything like that extent that we did the one that you guys just saw. So it's just going to be flagstone. They, they don't, they, we can't grow grass back there. Yeah, We've tried for years. So shady. So, and it's just mud in the summer that she's walking through. So um, we're going to go ahead and just mulch the entire thing and lay the flagstone on top. Like maybe we recede them just a little tiny bit. Um, but every season we can just check on those stones. That's why we're not putting a base underneath of them. Uh, we always do that yard. And Maybe we'll just, we can get our clients to just turn all their yard into mulch and, and flowers and <laughs> annuals like, and perennials. I mean, and it no is grass. more and more getting to be like, don't grow a lawn, grow like. And you'd be like, well, oh my goodness, you 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 wouldn't be mowing anymore. But if you turned like the one client, if you turned it into an all perennial annual garden with plants and shrubs, you still have probably the same amount of money and work that you would be mowing there yeah. if you're doing all the fertilizing, the pruning, and everything. So that would wouldn't be a bad deal if yeah but. it's still maintenance so i'm sure um i'm sure that there's people that actually just do that yeah just, out, out where there's really bad droughts like in the deserts in california yeah. even though you guys uh aren't going through a drought now um you guys are just inundated with water and snow i mean honestly you could probably even set up a business where you are just doing just garden beds yeah where you you Clean know, build them. build mm -hmm. a garden bed for somebody, fill it for somebody, put the plants in it, and help them maintain it. I guarantee that a business like that would, you know, take yeah. off because there's people that want it but don't have that green thumb, and yeah. they know that they don't have that green thumb, and they don't have the time to learn that yeah. green thumb. So they'll pay somebody that, they'll pay you to learn yeah so well we're gonna get out and start mowing this i'm gonna set you up on a tripod because it's the first one on this one and we are doing things a little different this year as you know i'm not putting videos up every single day seven days a week it's just it's just so much yeah um so we're gonna record a couple days and then put a video up like we're trying monday like we have our schedule monday wednesday and friday if we miss one we skip that day and go to the next scheduled day yeah. But it, it's easier for us. And we still give you guys some pretty good content. Because yeah. we mow these lawns 30-something so, times a year. And it's just mowing. Yeah. So it, and we'll still record And mowing, we've been doing but, it for years. So we yeah. don't want you guys to get bored. So we'll throw some <laughs> other stuff in there. Yeah. But let's All right, go. let's go.
Not too bad for the first mow, right? A lot of leaves though. That's because... <laughs> yeah. Looks nice, right? Yeah. Go off to the next one. A lot of poa. But look at this grass, guys. Oh, boy. Look how long and nice this is. Right? Yeah, some areas are really long. So I'm going to set you guys up on a camera down there to watch me mow this. Rachel's going to blow it off. There's some chickweed, but not much. But this is also one we fertilized earlier on. So is there a lot of clover in it? No. Just chickweed what, and stuff. Like, what's this vex though? How did this get in there? I don't know. It just gets in there. So, let me get my mower off.
better back here every year. The ch difficult challenge in this, it's all a lot of shade in the afternoon. So, and it's on a hill, it doesn't get watered. That's a big hill, if you want to say. Fun, fun. And I gotta go all the way down this path here on the side just to mow the backyard because I don't fit in there. But I want to show you guys the stripes in this lawn. Look how nice this looks. I'm gonna come up. Look at that, look at that guys. Is that pretty? For the first cut of the year in March? Not bad, right? Not too shabby. Poa in there, but this lawn looks the best it's ever looked so far. I gotta say, the seed, this is the second full year using this seed best seed I've ever used the black beauty from our sod field so we're back here to do a little bit of mulch that we started in the other video you guys seen I mowed the front yard I'm gonna go spade this out I'll leave you guys here to watch Rachel and then I'll set you guys up back here when I mow all this so let's put you over here for now Okay guys, they got all the front here done. Rachel's blowing off. I think they gotta do over there still. All here done. They might have more mulch to do over here. So they'll come back here and probably start doing this. I'm gonna take you guys and show you me while mowing this hill over here. So I'll put you on the hill all the way in the corner. And I gotta mow this. But I got the whole backyard done. Not looking bad at all. Nice.
we kind of made it through it. Let me walk you over here. You know, if he would have given us a heavy load, I think we'd have had plenty. Yeah. He gave us a light load. We can fill the cart up one more time. Do you want to try to finish it? Oh, do you? I mean, there's still not enough, but you.